Don't Where we go? Apple, Apple Butterbee. Yep. What's it called? Raspberry Apple Butterbee. Raspberry Ripple, is it? Raspberry Apple Ripple. Butterbee. Butterbee. I'm in a nice. taxi full of f***ing <laughs> roasters. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So cool, man. Oh, wow. <laughs> Did a world of bone there. <laughs> An hour, I can't actually see my watch. This is annoying actually. Border, borderline starvation right now. Um, an hour and 40 minutes actually. 45 minutes probably. How angry are you? I'm, I'm not angry, I'm just a bit pissed off. <laughs> yeah, the chili jam is unbelievable. Is that chili, is it? It's all right. Not quite the Highlands of Scotland, but it'll do. Pretty decent though. That's bad. You got a fucking forty pound tip for it though. And we didn't ask. We didn't. We didn't want to give them any tip, but they got forty pound. And we split the bill. It was forty eight pound fifty. After giving them thirty six pound tip. And I said, don't worry. We'll pay. We'll pay a uh, forty eight fifty, which is an extra five pence, and she rounds it up to fifty. Okay. An extra pound fifty, all right, sound. I'm never returning, but it was very good. Leave it at that. <laughs> Three in the afternoon, I never waited so long for my life in my for food for ages, so. Yeah, 3 p.m. And uh I'm have to follow Sinead now. Gotcha. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you're awesome, man. Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 I want to take a picture of you for my son who likes pumping. He likes pumping, does he? Yeah. Alright, mate. £3.99 though. <laughs> nope. This is too busy, bro. Well, it's just like you I'm sorry, my debt fright now. Too many people. You could drop me in the middle of the Cairngorms, I'll be absolutely fine. But in London, a very small fish in a very big, big, big pond. Or a loch. signatures of time three. You were doing before work as well, like you had recovery all the time. No, it's good having people down. They're here for to support me in Halloween holiday. Just gonna have some fun this weekend. When I have fun I perform good so there's not a lot of expectation on me which is good. Well, there always is expectation on me, but because of winning World Shows, man, I feel like the last six weeks, people know. I'm trying to build my profile out of Strawman. I'm trying to also build Strawman, so going to F1, going to Wimbledon, doesn't just help me, but it helps the likes of Giant Lies, it helps the World Shows, man, grow. So it's all just positive. You can't just be a Strawman athlete and just do Strawman. There's not enough one, there's not enough money in it, which everybody knows, which the top athletes talk about too. You need to find things for your future, so you know, I've been doing a lot of uh, clubs. I'm going to be doing a lot of clubs with big YouTubers. I'm doing a lot of media stuff, lots of TV stuff. So I'm just living my dream right now. So it's uh, it's good. And then, uh, also, I'm going to the Wimbledon final. Get Royal Albert Hall done, have a party, go to the finals, and uh, watch England lose. <laughs> my first ever coffee. Oh my days, it's so good. Eh? These are unbelievable, man. This. It's proper Spanish. <laughs> you took so long, mate. I've literally sat in reception. You must have. <laughs> how long are you here for the phone? What do you think? Uh, this. All right. That's why I want to go to Spain now, just to get one of them. Put them over there. Can you try it? This is the best place in London by an absolute mile. You like this? It's allergic to it. You're not. You'd like it. I wish he would try more things. He's a big man that likes food, but he doesn't really like trying new things. He's a chief of like cool. trying new things. Correct. I love trying new things. Like Spanish latte last year. Didn't ever, have you had to a... force that down yet? And look at me now. 
Yeah. Okay, right, right. Chunky. Feel so close to you right now. Yeah, it's like a force field. All right. All right. <laughs> oh. Gav, Gav can sit in the front one and he's there. Mmm, this atomic fits. You arrive. Destination is on your right. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. I'm just waiting, a lot of waiting. Time to warm up and get switched on, get the job done. I can't really tell how Tom is feeling because he's Tom. He's not really spoke about this. He's had so much on, but he has been training hard. The other day we went for a walk and I was asking him, like, how do you feel about this? Like, do you want to win? Do you want to, like, because you've not said anything to me. And then he's like, of course I want to win. He's like, I don't take part. He's like, I never just take part. That's so stupid. He's just so unbothered about anyone else. You know, you can put whatever you want on social media. You can play as much mind games as you want. But at the end of the day, you're in your own head that way. You don't need the validation of social media all the time. Like, and that took Tom a long time to realise that as well. It just comes down to the competition at the end of the day, doesn't it? So yeah, I'm really good mate. We've got um, I've got a couple of athletes here, but not not Luke unfortunately. Obviously Luke's still rehabbing his bicep injury and we're getting him ready for, for Vegas. But today, Albert Hall, we've got the Max Axel to start and that's the, the event that I think everybody's looking forward to the most because I, f I feel like there's going to be going to be a, a record today. And I'm also looking forward to seeing Tom versus Hooper on the Axel again, because just like Worlds, them two are going to battle it out and it's going to be just phenomenal. I love watching Tom Axel. He's probably my favourite athlete to watch Axel because he's just so just so savage with everything. It just his pickup is clean. Just everything he does is amazing to watch on the Axel. So we're really looking forward to the show. I think it's going to be amazing and can't wait for that Max Axel. Thank you. 
Really good, exactly what we want to do, you know, it's, uh, as we've said in the build-up, there's a lot going on, it's really hard to be the world's strongest man at times, you never ever want to moan about it, but in terms of prep, there's a lot of travel, there's a lot of work that goes along with it, so to be second, three and a half points behind Mitch, four and a half ahead of Matt Rag, really good, 195 Axel was lovely, a little bit more rest, 205 would have gone, so really happy with where his pressing's at at the moment and six reps on deadlift was purely tactical we knew exactly what we needed to do it was the last pair going out the last thing i said to him was five reps good six reps perfect he hit a comfortable five pretty happy couldn't really be happy with that performance not only the numbers but the professionalism and sort of shows what he's capable as as a well-rounded athlete say podium secure I'd say we're 99.9% .9 sure we'll be in second place but still a job to do still got to get it done weird things can happen so no complacency just get the work done and try and perform bad look there right on the lip It's great, really happy. Couldn't be happier, couldn't be more proud of him for that performance. It was, uh, yeah, absolutely perfect.
Yeah, they were they were all awesome tonight. I mean, Tom doesn't look as good as he was at World's Strongest Man right now, but that's kind of expected. Him and Mitch are going to have so many battles. It's so cool watching them. And, uh, you know, it's hard because I'm a Tom fan. I'm Mitch's coach. You want them both to do well, but they're going to go back and forth so many times. But today was Mitch's day. He was unbelievable. Started off with that axle. Looked unbelievable. And, um, yeah, I'm super proud of him, obviously. But I look forward to the next one. It's never a doubt. Yeah. It's been good though. I've been I was buzzing. I'm glad that wrecking ball. I was so proud of him on that. Like I cannot believe how. Like I know people are like, oh, you got seventh and bloody blah and stuff. But for Tom, that's amazing. Like that's a big boost for him. So I'm like so happy. Wow. Woo, go Tom! You played so well. Thank you, absolute legend, man. Yeah, and you, mate, Tom. Uh, yeah, I know, that's it. Oh, you done good. Do you want my honest reflections of that? Get him. Do you want my honest reflections of that? Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Uh, 8% Tom. I would say no mistakes in the Conan's wheel. And I would say the Wrecking Ball, very good results for him on any good day show. I would say 100% Tom fully focused would, uh, yeah, wipe the floor with that. But, you can just see where his base level is now, eh? You can see where his base level is and I think that will get him back in the swing of things coming into shot and definitely rogue as well, I would say. And then, yeah, I think he'll be delighted. Be delighted with that, eh? It's not bad for a, a day at the office, is it? Right, guys, as you can see, the big man is very busy and he's going to be very busy for another hour. So he's going to go home, he's going to get some food, so I'm going to do the outro. Stay safe, smile and stay spicy and don't forget to ring that little bell. Look at the size of that line. I forgot to make the noise. Ding, 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 ding.